Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today we're going to speak about a really interesting topic, fintech ecosystem in Uzbekistan. As you know that I came back from a long trip to Uzbekistan, but thanks a lot for all of your warm messages and wishes regarding my recovery. I'm fully recovered and I have so much energy in me. So, and also thanks a lot for your small gifts. <laughs> I received this cactus and it was written that please just save your eyes. So thanks a lot. But I don't know who sent this to me, but I'm really happy. Anyways, so let's talk about my trip. So actually I came back with like super insightful feedback. So on the fintech trends and some kind of a fintech products that are evolving and actively massively developing within the country. Definitely Uzbekistan appears promising in terms of nurturing and investing into startup projects in the fintech sector. Market leaders, there are already market leaders in Uzbekistan, and they have identified several key trends that is shaping the landscape. First is, so as you know, that there was really, really slow bank, uh, how to say, slow reaction by the, si by the side of the banks in terms of digitizing their services while reacting the banks and there was already big space for the development of those digital wallets so and there was like super high growth of digital wallets so even myself i used pay me and click and i connected it to my capital bank account and i paid it everywhere so thanks to god like i really didn't like uh the the moment because i really don't like carrying lots of cash with myself but three four years ago uh, you would see me like carrying pile of cash in Uzbekistan and paying it everywhere. Now, while during my trip, I didn't use any cash. Uh, so and I didn't carry any ca cash with myself. I just used all of this QR code payments, pay me, click, but I didn't use uh, uh, Uzum Pay. Uh, I used like only those two. That's why like the, uh, the so... There is a massive uh, usage uh, of the digital wallets everywhere, and also don't pay, uh, don't forget that there is a massive uh, so internet uh, penetration and adoption more than seventy percent, and also the population they have an access and they have all of all of the uh, individuals uh, in Uzbekistan citizens they have uh, mobiles, so it's like more than eighty or seventy percent, meaning that like. 40 uh, million unofficial population in Uzbekistan uh, is like a super uh, potential uh, meaty target for all of the fintech products. So the second trend is like super app adoption. There is a uh, really, really increasing trend uh, towards ecosystem and super app adoption. Many fintech players are expanding the, their services, offering different kinds of services to become a super app. And to, it, it's also one of the ways to uh, retain their customers. I mean, so by downloading one app, I can order a grocery. I can even order a like Chinese car from China and they can deliver me like in seven days with, uh, you know, 10% discount, whether you're going to go to the uh, physical store, physical, I mean, um, yeah, physical store of those uh, cars, like a car dealer, uh, so stores. And uh, actually, I can wait like seven days and you will get your, uh, so any car that you want to buy, actually. So there is a marketplace, right? So actually, within one uh, app, you can make a payment, you can buy, you can even like uh, choose uh, some bundles and pack packages, you can buy a Wi-Fi. So every everything is like in it. And that's why now this, I think also it's one of the ways like the, 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 the companies are competing with each other. This is good, actually. This is kind of a, a healthy environment uh, within the uh, within the country. So, and also there is an uh, e-commerce growth. It's like a third trend. The e-commerce market in Uzbekistan has shown a consistent upward trend as well, uh, with a penetration rate of more than three or four percent in 2023. And uh, just imagine, uh, it was zero point. 6% in 20, 2018. So this growth is driving is driving the need uh, for robust digital payment solutions as well. So meaning that like, as I told you that, uh, so there is an 
uh, where I read it. So yeah, there isn't like smartphone penetration, right? So yeah, smartphone pen- penetration more than 77%, but it wasn't, uh, it was an analytics for 2022 or 2023. So meaning that it's even more. So, and uh, yeah, and new banks on the rise, it's like a next trend. There is a significant growth of new banks serving both individuals and businesses particularly focusing on micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, MSMEs. These new banks are providing tailored financial services that traditional banks may not offer. However, there are some traditional banks who are also copying those new banks and offering new bank-like services. And uh, those banks, as far as I know, it's an Asaka Bank, Promstroy Bank, and Capital Bank. They're like leaders on the market. So the next uh, trend is uh, Islamic finance. The demand for Islamic finance is growing rapidly, and the segment is expected uh, to expand significantly in the coming years. And also population is becoming more knowledgeable in terms of investing their funds into Sharia-compliant financial products. Uh, We can see this trend uh, as well. And also in Uzbekistan's fintech sector is uh, well positioned to cater this Islamic finance uh, demand. And the uh, next trend is buy now. Pay later BNPL services. BNPL services are emerging uh, as a significant catalyst uh, for the growth of e-commerce because it's really convenient. I uh, let's say I'm like shortage of, so I just used all my salary. There's still like uh, one week to go to get my next salary. I can actually just like yeah, uh, so buy now, but I can pay later out of my salary, right? So also like really easy to uh, use service. And the last one is controlled development of the crypto industry. Uh, so actually now there are all, uh, there are like 10 regulated crypto stores and two crypto exchanges in the market. You cannot use uh, Binance and don't even try to switch on the VPN. You can be traced <laughs> and someone can knock on your door and saying, let's go to the jail. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just like, that was a joke. So anyways, I just... Uh, be really careful while making some crypto operations or maybe you are using a crypto as a payment method. I'm an also user of uh, crypto, but definitely uh, before going to any country, I always just uh, read the regulation, local regulations regarding the crypto monitoring part. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, to recap, what can I say? Uzbekistan fintech ecosystem is an exciting trajectory. The combination of supportive government policies, innovative startups, and advanced technologies is driving this transformation. And definitely, there are some, uh, like, you know, like in any country, there are advantages and disadvantages, but definitely it's an emerging, emerging and demanding market. As you know, that Uzbekistan is like uh, well, now, well known for the so, like, uh, how to say, increased rate of uh, births. Uh, so birth rate as well. So like, you know, now average family has three to five children in one family, meaning that there is an, uh, so really big, big market, uh, for, uh, so for the new Gen Z generation. So, and actually it should be, we should create like some kind of a sound, uh, fintech ecosystem. So as you know, that I left Uzbekistan eight years ago and I gained a uh, super interesting international experience and right now i can actually bring more value uh, to my country uh, by bringing more maybe institutional investors and some partners because i can see that the massive massive really really interesting fintech products even in ai as well and also there is a high quality cheap uh, manpower in uzbekistan so yeah and perfect foods actually i'm really proud I'm really proud of this heritage. So actually within like one month while being there in Uzbekistan, I just devoured this cuisine, this amazing cuisine. You will never find anything like closer. <laughs> it's like so tasty, this yeah, traditional pilaf, all kinds of fruits, vegetables, and you can find anything like, you know, if you want to take a repose, you can just go to mountains and yeah, it's like really perfect, perfect uh, destination. So this is it. Uh, thanks a lot for being with me. Stay tuned. Uh, next podcast will be with one of the famous Uzbek venture capitalists who left 
uh, his government position and started investing into startups. And right now he has invested into 20 startups already. And he's like actively uh, so deploying his funds and diversifying his funds as well. We're going to speak about that. So right now, uh, yeah, you got some really interesting feedback about um, FinTech ecosystem in Uzbekistan. Uh, so through through my eyes. So if you have any uh, comments and feedbacks, please feel free to write me. I'm happy for new connections. Have a nice day. Thank you.